fullerenes are quite reactive because um, they uh, because of their free electrons as well and because of their van der Waals forces. Now nanotubes they are also fullerenes but then nanotubes are giant molecular structures because you can see that this is a nanotube and it keeps continuing like this it will keep going forward and from that end it will keep going there so that's why they are giant molecular structures and they have hexagonal rings of carbon atoms you can see and uh, electricity again uh, in nanotubes as well they have uh, each carbon atom carbon atom is bonded to three other carbon atoms so each carbon atom has one free electron so when you apply voltage along the long axis of a nanotube which is the long axis is this axis when you apply a voltage along the long axis then the electron cloud can move and therefore uh, it can conduct electricity so um, this bring, brings us to the last uh, giant molecular structure which is graphene so the, the the structure you see on the right is a structure of graphite you can see all these layers over here when you take out a single layer of graphite it's graphene so actually graphene is very difficult to synthesize and it's a very modern modern allotrope of carbon because it has been it, it it was discovered only very recently and it's a very good conductor of electricity it's very light it's very strong and it's very flexible because you can if you apply pressure on this layer towards this side or, or, or if you apply pressure on this end upwards and you apply pressure towards this end downwards it will bend right but it will not break because because the covalent bonds are very strong so it's very flexible and uh, it's also very reactive which i forgot to mention over here so these are the properties of graphene now um what we need to learn in this chapter is something that we already know but um, i just didn't want to leave anything behind so yeah recycle resources are finite they are non renewable most of them so we need to preserve them we must recycle them try to use them as much as possible before disposing them away so uh, yeah remember that guys don't 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 remember this for your exam but for your practical life as well because our planet is in deep trouble and we really need to recycle so um we are done with this chapter this is the end of as and a level chemistry i hope you enjoyed uh, the play the, the all the playlists in as levels and i wish you luck for your a levels so um you can practice papers at gcguide.org you can email me your doubts at a level chemistry free at gmail.com the link to gcguide.org is in the description the email id is also in the description so keep practicing keep working hard and thank you